Hello and welcome to the 15th in our series Key Skills Piecing It Together and today I'm looking at the slow movement from Beethoven's Sonata in G, Op. 79. It's in grade 6. It's a beautiful piece with a glorious melody over a delicate accompaniment. And so on. So the left hand has to be very, very light, in particular in the thumbs. hand we have the challenge of projecting the melody the soprano line over the alto I would work on this very very slowly just very, taking a, a bar at a time for example bar four and making exercises out of this bar so I would first of all play the melody very very slowly and then I would add the the underneath notes you'll notice I'm not playing uh, rhythmically at all. I don't care about the rhythm at the moment, I'm just listening to the sound. So play the melody, and then the underneath note, and the melody again, and the underneath note. And each time I'm letting go that alto voice early, and connecting the, the soprano voice, and so on. The next stage is to try and do the same thing, but with the, with the notes more simultaneously played. So. I'm still letting go the alto early. And finally, when you add the pedal, that will sound so much better. And so on. So, as I say, when you're working very slowly like this, don't worry about the rhythm. Just listen to the sounds and play those chords as long as you need to play them so that you can uh, control the sound. And then in bar 10, this lovely flowing accompaniment arrives in the left hand. And in order to control that, you need to have a lot of empty space under your hand. Don't try and play this on the flat. You'll find it much more difficult to control the sounds that way. And then later in bar 13, Beethoven asks us to play a trill over the B flat. Always with trills like this, stop and work out a rhythm for the trill. Don't just leave it to chance. So very slowly, I would play three notes to the first left hand note, then two notes to the next one, and then you're playing exactly what's on the page. So do that once more, very, very slowly. So if you start that way, and then only gradually over time speed it up. But I always think rhythmically with trills. And then later in bar 19, we have this rather forbidding looking run in the right hand. So when you first start to work on these hands together, I would simply play two notes in the right hand to every one in the left hand. And you can do that for a number of weeks so that you get comfortable with the geography of the piece. Later though, you will want to add something more approaching what Beethoven has asked us to do in regards regarding the rhythm. So here I'm playing three against two initially. Two notes in the right hand, two notes in the right hand, two notes in the right hand, and then three notes in the right hand. But later on, when the piece is flowing along, the mathematics of how the hands are coordinated really matters very little, as long as it starts together and ends together.